Hey, this is Chris from Mission Capital, and today I'm going to show you how I use Excel to pick my March Madness bracket. So what I always do is I bring in all the teams um, that are in the tournament. I bring in their rank, as well as their region, and then I grab a laundry list of stats. Everything there is to know about the teams in terms of their wins, losses, their uh, free throw percentage, fouls, you know, whatever you want to know. I pull all this from basketballreference.com, and I drop it into like a mini database here. And then the best part is I just arbitrarily choose which stats are the most important to me, and I rank them here at the top, and then at the end of the day I get a weighted average rank for the team. And then since there's some randomness in sports, I also bring in a randomness factor, and I basically kind of cycle who I think is the most valuable. So if I hold down F9, you can see the ranking is uh, just changing a little bit to account for that randomness. And so basically the Excel sheet ranks the teams, and then it pulls it through into the actual bracket here where definitely not modeling best practices, but great for just filling out brackets online. You know, I've got the west up here, the east down here, the uh, south over here, and the midwest over here. And then as I randomize the bracket, again, hold F9, you can see how some of the teams are changing throughout the bracket. And so I'll probably just mess around with this a couple times. And then once I feel good enough about it, which is purely biased, which is the best part of this whole tournament, then I will just start punching all of these into whatever bracket provider I am using. So fun little way to leverage Excel to have some fun with the uh, NCAA tournament. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.